What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I want to talk about this situation that happened between Aisha Curry, Steph Curry, and the audience at the NBA All-Star Game. Weekend. They decided to have Steph Curry and Aisha Curry promote their new dating show to a crowd of fans that are not fans of the Golden State Warriors and probably less of a fan of Steph Curry and Aisha Curry. And both of these individuals got booed out of the building. Why they decided to do this is beyond me. Uh, I guess they thought that because Steph Curry is a likable guy, Aisha is very likable. They thought that this would actually work. Now this, you know what's crazy? This is probably what, what the first time we've seen Steph and Aisha Curry in public together. In a while, I, I haven't seen them in public together in a while. There were rumors that, you know, they have an open relationship. You know, Aisha lashed out at somebody that asked her about it in the comments, but she didn't deny it. Steph Curry didn't deny it. So it's left up to interpretation. But for them to be promoting a dating show in the middle of NBA All-Star Weekend, in the middle of this event, they decide to pull this promotional failure. And that's exactly what it was. And it was embarrassing. And it had to be. Now, let's get into this argument from Clutch Points. It says, Golden State Warriors point guard Stephen Curry is universally beloved by virtually all NBA circles except in Cleveland, Ohio, that is. The greatest shooter of all time and his wife, Aisha, were greeted with a chorus of boos at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse during NBA All-Star Saturday night. The Warriors star was simply promoting his new game show last, about last night during a break in the action, but had to hear it from the crowd filled with loyal Cav fans. Let's see here. Play it. Maybe y'all can hear it. I don't know if y'all can hear it. But uh, this is from ESPN. And they're booing, as you can see. This very weird. Like, why would you put this? Why are they out there doing this? Like, they could have ran a commercial. Like, why even put this? In? <laughs> it's not hard to understand why the animosity still lingers for Stephen Curry in Cleveland. His Golden State Warriors tormented the Cavaliers for three out of four NBA final series not too long ago. Those jeers probably would have been louder had the Cavs not pulled off the now legendary 3-1 three uh, three comeback during the 2016 NBA Finals. No matter how much of a fan favorite Stephen Curry is, everywhere else in the world, he is still public enemy number one to most diehard Cavs fans. LeBron James may be long gone, and new all-stars in Darius Garland and Jared Allen have emerged, but the rivalry still lives on between the Warriors and the Cavs. Now, I'm going to tell y'all the real reason why they were booed. See, this is the article here from the rap about their dating show. A dating game show, excuse me, dating game show. Tattletales. Now, Steph Curry has a busy schedule. Right, Steph Curry has a busy schedule. How he can fit in a dating game show with Aisha, I don't know. But to me, this just doesn't make any sense. Who's going to watch this show? It's going to be on NBA Max. No, NBA, excuse me, not NBA Max. <laughs> it's going to be on HBO Max. And people are not going to purchase the app to watch Steph and Aisha Curry in, you know, do a dating game show. Because one, Aisha does not really have a personality like that, and neither does Steph Curry. Okay, they're not the most entertaining two. Unless they're gonna show something different, you could have gotten a more entertaining couple to do it. Now, maybe they're overestimating the reach of the audience that Steph and Aisha have, but I just don't know how that's gonna work. So to me, that this show is mainly about Aisha Curry more than this Steph. Steph doesn't need this. 
this is for Aisha Curry because Aisha Curry wants to be famous. And that's why you heard those chorus of boos because this show is about her. It's not necessarily about Steph. Steph is a businessman, but as far as doing game dating shows, that's not something that I think is in Steph Curry's wheelhouse. Aisha Curry has always wanted to do something on her own, which is why this should have been about her instead of putting him into it. But because Steph Curry has his own fans and supporters, he's brought into it to help the show go to bring HBO Max more subscribers to sign up to the to the uh, to the streaming service. But this is about Aisha Curry, and that's why they booed. I don't think they hate Steph Curry. This wasn't because they think Steph Curry is a bad guy. Most of the booing was for her because they're like, what? what? Why is one one? First off, we still don't like stuff because he with the Golden State Warriors. Yeah, yeah. But why is him and his wife standing out here trying to promote a dating show during an NBA All Star weekend? We don't care, and that is why I feel people were booing. It wasn't because they have something against Steph Curry. They have something against the fact that once again, Aisha Curry is being paraded in front of them to promote something of her, you know, what she's doing. And again, I don't think Aisha is a bad person whatsoever. I have nothing against her, but you look at the optics. This is more about her than it is about Steph. Steph doesn't need this. Steph doesn't, he doesn't need a dating game show. Aisha could have done this by herself. She doesn't need Steph to do it, but Steph was brought into it to help the show get more promotion. That's why they did it during the NBA All-Star Weekend. You just bring Aisha Curry out there or you run ads with Aisha Curry by herself, people might be like, eh, she's not, you know, we don't really care. But if you bring Steph Curry into it, people are going to care. People are going to care. And it was it's just embarrassing that they're standing out here they just, it just, it, <laughs> that's what you call being down bad. I mean, when you're out there and you're, you're very unassuming, you don't really have personalities and you're trying to promote something in front of an audience that really does not care. They're just there for the festivities of NBA all-star weekend. They don't care about your HBO max show. And you're just out there just looking bad out here. I mean, like, I, I, you know, it's it's just amazing how Aisha just wants to attach Steph to everything. Now people say, "Well, this might have been Steph's idea." Do you really think that this was Steph's idea? Like seriously, <laughs> this show has her. Listen, I don't see his face. I see her face there. Maybe he's in the background, but that show is mainly about her. And once again, Steph is being brought into it, and. This is what happens when you are married to a woman that wants to be famous as famous or if not more famous than you, you have to put up with these things. It's, it's a good, it's a good thing that, you know, I'm the type of person that would never allow any woman I'm with to drag me into any situation that is only to benefit her. Unless I'm doing something specifically for her, you're not about to bring me in any type of mess that I don't believe in. So to me, this just, it's a bad look. Now I want to go to something in regards to Steph Curry speaking about his parents' divorce. Now this is according to Fadeaway Sports. I'm going to read a little bit of this. Steph Curry's emotional confession on his parents' divorce process. I could be mad and be like, y'all F this up, but it's going to be an acknowledgement of both of y'all in terms of how y'all raised me. Before the start of the 2021-2022 NBA season, the Curry family made headlines around the NBA community. It wasn't because of Stephen or Seth's performances on the court, but the ongoing rumors about Dale and Sonya's relationship. The lovely couple is in the process of ending their marriage after several years together. A lot has been said about this and the rumors suggesting Stephen was siding with his mom on this issue. Dale and uh, Sonia were in attendance when he broke the NBA broke the all-time three-point record at Madison Square Garden, but far away from each other at the same time. A lot of people were shocked to see them apart 
from each other, marking the official end of an era. Steph has opened up on the situation, explaining how he feels about it. Curry discussed all of the issues he's dealt with during this process with his parents taking separate routes in life. It's challenging for sure, Curry, uh, via Logan Murdoch of The Ringer. I could be mad and be like, y'all F this up. I could have that approach, but it's going to be an acknowledgement of both of y'all in terms of how y'all raised me. The calmness I have in myself is because of y'all. It was never easy for somebody to see their parents get divorced. No matter how old you are, Steph is going through that process now. As he explained, it, it hasn't been the best time for him, yet he knows that his parents raised him in one way so he could act accordingly in these situations. And I think this is why he's not going to divorce Aisha. Um, I, I don't think that he he should. I, I just think that, you know, there are two people who may be going in, in separate routes, but I think Steph does the maximum to show support towards Aisha and whatever it is she wants to do, even if he doesn't agree with it. This dating game show has Aisha Curry written all over it. I don't think Steph really cares either way. He just wants her to be happy. He wants her to be happy. She's not good with being a homemaker. Like she's not good with doing her cooking thing. She wants to be a celebrity. She wants to be a star. It's just like Will Smith and, and Jada Pinkett Smith. Jada Pinkett wants to be more famous than Will Smith. She wants to be just as famous, if not more, even though she is famous, but she's not Will Smith famous. Aisha Curry wants to be Steph Curry famous. And again, I'm not saying she's a bad person at all. I have nothing against Aisha at all, but I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest and real. I have nothing against these two. I want these two to be successful. I want Steph to be successful. I want Aisha to be successful together. They have kids together. They've been together uh, since, he, since before he was in the NBA. So this is a couple that basically have grown together. But I feel like they also are going in separate. I think Steph is going in neutral, but I think that Aisha is taking her own path slowly. She's taking her own path, carving out her own identity. It happens, people. When you have people who get married at young ages, they end up taking different routes in life. It just it just depends on who's going to pull the plug first. So let me think in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. Make sure you like this video and share it. I'll see you all next one. Y'all take care.